What's going on guys? We have some humongous news. At least we think it's huge. Hopefully you find it huge as well. But basically, after a year of traveling, having been to all but four states, I believe. Which four? Uh, well, couldn't really do Hawaii, because an RV wouldn't take the us RV. there. We didn't make it all the way north to Alaska. I think we missed, uh, we missed North Dakota. Sorry for you guys in North Dakota. And... Well, originally we had missed Oklahoma, but we just hit that. So it's just those. That's true. Okay, so, okay, only three. Only three yes. states that we missed. So, <laughs> if you don't know of our story a little bit, here is the story. Is last year, we decided to drop everything and buy an RV. We knew nothing about RVs nothing. at the time. And we are like, let's take advantage of this time. And we just hit the road. And we have four kids. If you're interested in as to the details of why we did it, how we did all that stuff, we actually have a video. It's one of our first videos that we've ever did um, yes. that you guys can go check out as to why we did it, how we did it, all that kind of stuff. Um, but we just concluded officially one year of being in the RV as of the end of last July, this past July. Yeah. But now that that year mark has hit we have big news in just regard to what we're all doing with our lives. Yeah, all the things. <laughs> One of the most amazing opportunities we had in the RV was visiting a lot of churches and ministries and partnering mm -hmm. with people all across the U.S. and really seeing that God is on the move all over the U.S. I think we were in a little bit of a bubble where we thought revival could only come out of where we were, or we thought that God was only going to move from where we were standing and where we were planted. And it not was, true. <laughs> yeah, not true. It was really encouraging to see the Lord doing so many incredible things all yeah. across the U.S. And Everywhere. all the opportunities that we had to preach the word, to pray for people, um, and to just meet other amazing, phenomenal people along the way was truly um, incredible yeah. for that year. Yeah. So I don't want to bypass it that was a really it was an quick. Honor. It was amazing. Never did I ever think that I would live in 250 square feet with my four children. <laughs> you know, and so, me. and you. <laughs> You're easier to live with at times. Aww. At times. Um, so yeah, we had just been praying and seeking the Lord on what was next. What did he want us to do? Paris was born and raised in San Diego. Mm -hmm. The Lord called me to Orange County, California at the ripe age of 18 and a half, 19 years old. Yep. 14, almost 14 years ago. Um, and we thought that that's where we would be forever. Yeah. We thought that that's where we were going to plant and grow. And we've been sowing into that land for a really long time. But then, but then, what happened? Well, we just started rethinking everything. I mean, kind of, it's kind of like what Nicole said. It's like once, not to say that we were so inundated or so like into a bubble, but in all reality, that's at least for me, I had spent yeah. my entire life in Southern California. And so I think getting out and, be, and that's not to say that I'd never traveled before. Let's not say that, but being out for as long as we were, seeing, you know, the rest of the United States, all that kind of stuff, we really, in that process, were asking questions and asking the Lord, hey, what do you want us to do? Um, yeah. Now that we're in this kind of transitional state, but this exciting state of our lives, what do you have for us next? Like, eventually this season of, of our being is probably going to end. Um, we weren't in it to be full time for a long time. Uh, <laughs> so it you felt know, like a long time. It's, it, well, it was a while, a year was a while to be in there with six people in an RV. But that was like our big question. And we felt for a while, honestly, that it wasn't being answered. And it wasn't until the latter part of our trip that yeah. all of a sudden we started taking steps in faith um, in terms of just like, okay, let's set this date. If this doesn't happen yeah. by this date, then we're going to start making decisions and yeah. Lord just have faith that you are going to bless those decisions. Yeah. And so that's basically what we started doing. And when we did that, when we started taking steps in a particular direction of saying, Lord, I don't hear your voice clearly. Like I, 
I hope that's relatable. <laughs> you know? On the next exact thing. Because yeah, we yeah. believe that God speaks. We believe yep. in the prophetic. We are 100%. very prophetic. But mm -hmm. we had asked the Lord for dreams, for visions, for prophetic words. And there were some things that he um, was really loud about. And then other things that we were like, we feel like we're supposed to go back to California. We feel like we're supposed to sow into the land. And so we went to California twice. We were in Florida, which I thought was the glory land. It was beautiful and amazing. Florida's great. <laughs> and the Lord said, go back to California, sow in. Mm -hmm. So we did. And then we went to Texas. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we were like, wow, we could really be in Texas. And the Lord said, go back to California and sow in specifically to Orange County. So we went back. We sowed in with these revived nights. And it was incredible. It was, you know, different than things we've done before. But yeah. long story to yeah. say. Yeah, we could do a whole other, a whole other right. thing on making decisions and hearing from the Lord and all that stuff. And that's very yeah. much part of the process. But yeah. the point I was making is once we made a step in faith of making a decision, all these doors started opening. Yeah. It was like, boom, boom, boom. All the doors that we felt had been closed previously or like knocking on and knocking on and nothing happening. And all of a sudden taking that step is what basically had almost like a domino effect of things that we never anticipated in terms of like, we're going to make this date and this is what we're going to do. And all yeah. of a sudden an opportunity comes yeah. that aligns perfectly with that date. It's been really crazy and we don't want to give a ton of details here just because we're still working out things. There's a lot that we know why and then there's a lot that we're like, what's happening, Lord? What are you doing? There's been a lot of crazy doors like Paris mentioned, but we still haven't said what we're wanting to say. Oh yeah, that's true. We have officially moved, moved to... to Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee. Tennessee. <laughs> Never did we ever think we would be in Nashville, Tennessee, but here we are. And um, God is strategically moving people here. It is so wild. Um, the community that we already have and the people that we are just meeting. But um, we wanted to let you guys know because yeah. we've been here for a couple weeks and we haven't been able <laughs> Cats to, out of the bag. to tell people um, because we've just wanted to be really careful and prayerful about the timing of things. Um, we're not done with California. God told us that when we got here. We know that he's going to be doing more. I'm still going to be involved in the women's conference, but we have an incredible leadership team running with that. There are things that Paris is going to be doing. So this isn't goodbye to everyone watching who's in California, um, but we do believe God is expanding our, our tent pegs, if you will, and our yep. territory. And there is a new land for the Rowans in this next season. Yep. So anyway, that's what we wanted to share with you. <laughs> there will be more to come yes. if you want to know more details yes. about um, yeah, what's happening, what is going on. So subscribe to Rowan Through Life because we're going to have a lot of our life on here. And um, if you know anybody in Nashville, Tennessee, let me know. Let us know. All right. Catch you guys later.